Hey, what's going on, rock stars? Blue Rocket Guitars coming at you. What's up on the bench? I've been had. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. You've all heard it. Yeah. All you people that hate Ivan S came up with a slogan called I've been had. <laughs> what's, well, you know, kind of funny, actually. So, hey, it is what it is. Um, yeah, this is interesting. Definitely interesting. This is definitely from the 80s. And, uh, well, yeah, kind of a cool bass, I guess. I, I don't know. I, I, I had an Ibanez. We've all had Ibanez, I believe. You know, at one state in your, uh, playing career, so to speak, you've probably had one. Um, I had a Roadstar and, uh, that guitar was cool until the Jackson Soloist came out. <laughs> and it was like, ooh, Jackson Soloist, pointy headstock, cool paint job. Ooh, think I'm buying that. And yeah, as fate would have it, uh, hey, you had an Ivan hat. Oh, no, what? Nah, Jackson, man. It's, it's all it was. <laughs> hey, it was the eighties, man. Guitars came and went so much, but, uh, yeah, Jackson was basically the, uh, the guitar. Um, and I remember it well in BC rich. Yeah. So, um, this is going to be an interesting paint job. And, uh, this is an interesting actual bass. Uh, I actually had an Ibanez bass and it broke. So, my love for Ibanez was kind of short-lived. <laughs> but, you know, there's a lot of people that uh, like Ibanez. Uh, obviously, it's a very popular brand still, so there you go, man. And, uh, you remember those? <laughs> Alien knobs! That's what I call them. So they're just, you know, those weird knobs that, uh, I don't know, alien is what I think of it when I see that stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely from the 80s. I mean, check that out. <laughs> it's not even an inch. It's just like, will that will that break? Oh no, no. I mean, yeah, it's very lightweight. It's extremely lightweight. I mean, it's like a feather. I mean, six ounces, seven ounces. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, it's very lightweight. Um, but uh, this was interesting. I was looking at this, going, "Wow!" So that is at least what is that like three inches of of, yeah, that's like three inches. Because, you know, a normal neck plate that you would have on a, a guitar or a bass. Um, let me see if I can pull one out here. So, I have neck plates, obviously, in stock. This is a Fender one. Uh, California Custom Fender one. But, yeah, look at that. What? <laughs> you like my sound effects? So... Super neck plate, shall we just call it? Super neck plate? Yeah. You're not finding a replacement for that, so you better not lose it, man. You know, if you modify, take your guitar apart, that kind of thing. But, uh, this is actually cool, you know? Sort of, I think. Maybe. Not sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, extremely lightweight. Made in Japan. So, um, this isn't a Korean or an Indonesian or wherever else there's making those things but definitely from the 80s i mean look at this <laughs> i mean come on <laughs> yep this was that uh see-through plastic covering for this and it's been on there for quite some time now which yeah <laughs> totally interesting so um I don't know. Is it, is it, did it protect it? Yeah, it kind of left a film on there. If you leave these things on too long, you'll have a film there. And we might be able to buff that out. Uh, it is plastic, so. Very possible. Very possible. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely going to be a fun paint job. Totally unique paint job. Well, we'll get into that in just a second here. So, it'll sound amazing, right? Because Seymour Duncan... Who doesn't love Seymour Duncan? Well, I love Seymour Duncan. So, and I know a lot of you out there love Seymour Duncan. Awesome pickups, all kinds of different tones and many different styles. And yeah, man, I can't say enough good things about old Seymour Duncan. And I, I actually have my own custom Seymour Duncan pickups that come in my guitars and basses that'll be in my production line, and they're also in my custom line um, for the you know one-off customs that I do because those are just freaking fun. And, uh, yeah, so this client, we were having a conversation the other day, and he's like, hey, man, I want to paint this 
splatter. And I'm thinking, yeah, cool. Yeah, I've done that. You know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Until I got off the phone with him. And, I, you know, that question rattles around in the back of your head there for a minute or two. And I'm going, yeah, I'm sure I've done a splatter paint job. Uh, no. Strange. Because I've painted somewhat like, I don't know, over 2,000 guitars. I started painting in 2004. You've seen my videos, so you've seen some of the paint work I do. Um, which makes this even more interesting because I actually got into my files. And I have a, I have a ton of files. <laughs> you know, a collection of stuff I've done. And uh, I couldn't find a splatter paint job. Doesn't necessarily mean I didn't do one, but... Uh, for the record, no, I don't think that uh, I have. So this will be the first one. This will be fun. This will be interesting. And, uh, well, you know, I'll do an amazing job because, well, I do amazing work. What do you want? Um, <laughs> and I toot my own horn. Because, yeah, man, that's how it works. So um, anyway, this is going to go into his collection of uh, bases. This is going to hang on the wall and feel inferior. Uh, because everything on that wall is BC rich. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having fun with it. What do you want, man? I mean, he's going back to the days of, you know, the eighties and kind of reliving some of those things he owned. And apparently he owned one of these and dug it. It plays really well. I mean, it really does. It plays real easy. It's light as hell. I mean, this thing doesn't weigh anything. You barely know you're wearing a base. So, I mean, it's, it's that light. You know, it's like six ounces, I swear. No, just kidding. It's a little heavier than that, but not much. But, uh, yeah, this would be fun. So, uh, I've done probably 13, 10. I don't know how many paint jobs I've done for the gentleman, but uh, a lot. And uh, every one of those was a BC Rich. Because, well, yeah, BC Rich is awesome. What do you want, man? They came out in the 80s, and they're still around today. And uh, they play, for the most part, pretty amazing and uh, their body shapes have always been extreme. Always something different. Always something cool on the edge. Love BC Rich. Owned a BC Rich. Uh, it's my second base, I think. I had an Ibanez. That broke. So, yeah. My relationship with Ibanez is not that good. Um, then I had a Jackson. That was amazing because, well, you know, it was a Jackson. And then I had a BC Rich. And that was amazing because, well, BC Rich. <laughs> and now I make my own custom stuff. So, hey, man. So my bases are like totally amazing because well, I build them. What do you want? And yeah, this will be exciting. This will be one of my first, actually be my first as far as I'm concerned, as far as I remember, and uh, my database is concerned. This will be the first splatter paint job. So stay tuned, uh, watch, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, man, we'll catch you on the flip side. See ya.